Now we're going to move on to the colouring. So first of all, I'm going to deal with the stamens here, all right, and the obviously uh, stool stigma over it, part there. So I'm going to, and as I explained, I find it easier to dust these because with the stamens especially, you can almost just sort of rub them on the napkin or on paper towel. Now as you can see, we're going to do a sort of a green through to a pink and then leave the underneath the actual hammerhead stamen or the stamen leave that white. So I'm going to use pale green color, okay, and uh, with this pale green color here, I'm going to just take a little bit of the pale green, this is a light apple green. So I'm going to just sort of brush this on the, from about a third of the way up, okay, which will be taped on, I'm going to just sort of do about two, two centimeters in like a pale green. Don't get too worried about this because it's just, a, just to give a subtle color on there, so you see, so you can just lay them down and just put your green but it's just it's easier to do this than to try and do them when they're assembled because remember this is on a very thin wire. I'm then going to take some, this is the color I'm going to use for the base on the flower. So this is actually a uh, combination, so this is my base color. Um, this is actually a pink, sort of called American Beauty, which is a dark pink I used actually on my roses. And then some plum. So I use three parts American Beauty to one part plum. So basically, you know, three little spoons or scoops of American Beauty and then one scoop of plum. And you could, of course, mix this in a little container and then just mark it for, for oriental style lilies. Now the oriental genus of lily is obviously has a strong fragrance. It's very popular for weddings and things. And so I'm gonna be using some of the, um, the American Beauty, the uh, Stargazer base or Rubrum base. And then above where the green is, I'm going to just do the same with a little bit of pink. And then leaving the end about five millimeters, so just the end part white. So you see you go from green into pink into white. Now on the, um, on the orange lily, I would do exactly the same but I would just use my orange base, all right? So when I do the orange lily, I'll be using this color for the base of the lily. So whatever color you generally use on your petals, you're gonna use that color on your stamens, all right? And so having, having white there um, makes it a very neutral base, so you can, of course, do that. So anyway, so that will give you your little stamens there. This is the center part, all right? So this is gonna be done with the green. And again, you're gonna just use the pale green here so I like to make this in just a really, really pale green because it gives me a good foundation. So really this is the same color I used in my Flower Pro um, for the filler flowers for my uh, hydrangeas. So when I did the green hydrangeas, I used this pale green onto there. So you see how it just brightens this up. Then we're gonna use a little bit of the pink color. So a little touch of that pink color is just gonna just go onto the top here, just gently on that top just to give a little bit of pinky color onto that. And then we're gonna use a little bit of lime green. This will be the color I actually use on the petals. So I'm gonna use a little bit of lime green just at the very bottom here. So just a little bit of lime green just at the very, very bottom just to brighten that up because that's actually gonna be where the petals meet, okay? I'm just gonna get rid of this. Now, when we assemble this, okay, uh, we're going to, um, going to assemble. I'm gonna use actually dental floss now, this is um, waxed dental floss, so that is important. You need to use a wax dental floss because it's more like a little sticky. So you're just gonna take some dental floss and uh, we're gonna break this off and I'm gonna take the dental floss and just gonna make a, like a little knot on the end of this. Now you could also do this with thread. You can also use like quarter width tape will work, but if you cut like one sixth of a tape like I showed on my, uh, when I did my um, baby's breath, so we're just going to just attach this around the bottom. So I've actually knotted this and attached this. And then we're gonna take the stamens. Now when you attach the stamens, the stamens want to come, so the top of the stamen is about level with the bottom of the pistol on the top there, the stigma, okay? So then you're just gonna just put the first one on and then you see you're just gonna use this like a piece of and then that's just gonna go into there like so. See, so you're gonna just attach the stamens. So then my second one will just go in the little gap here. I just wanna go about the same, same level. So you're just gonna put these one at a time and then you can just sort of put them in so they'll actually just fit into that little, um, like little gap we made. I just found that if you don't have that little markings on there, because actually in real life the lily really doesn't have that, but it's just that if you have that little 
groove on there, it just makes it much more easy to actually get these into place. You see how you're just going to wrap this on and this will be my fourth one and then the fifth and sixth, okay? So this will be the fifth one and this will be the, and if they're a little short you can just tug them because this is going to sort of hold them into place. Because if you imagine, if you used, a though this is dry, if you used, for example, like half width floral tape like this, you guys are going to be very, very bulky on the bottom there. All right, so it's going to give you your, and then you're just going to just turn your stamens, so because usually the stamens are going to, and just make sure that if they're not all level, you just sort of tug them a little bit. All right, so they're going to be sort of level, and just going to just squash them up so that they just obviously don't stick out too much. And just position those two, three, four, five, six. All right. So these are going to just be positioned, and then we're just going to just go round. Once you get, make sure that they're okay. Then you can just sort of go round with your dental floss. Just going to, dental floss is remember quite strong, so just going to just break that off. Now I'm then going to take, um, in the case of the large lily, I'm going to use three 20 gauge wires. In the case of the small lily, I use three 22 gauge wires. Okay. So you're going to take your, you're going to take your um, three wires like this, and I'm going to now just tape that with half width tape, and I'm just going to just tape this down to the bottom. So this is going to give me my um, main stem, and just like on showing the calla lily, having three wires gives you, because a lily has a fairly thick stem in real life, okay? And you can just sort of use your pliers or your tweezers, you can just sort of bend these a little bit of an angle. And they're just going to just give you your, remember these are on a nice soft wire. So these will give you your, as I said, your lily stamens, okay? You could just fold those in just a little bit like that. Um, so that would be, and then you can just, if you need to come back in with some of the lime, just to sort of just brighten it up at the bottom a little bit, you know, and plus also remember the natural oils and moisture in your hands, sometimes going to take your fingers, will take the color off. So just put that on and if you, just need to sort of brighten it up a little bit. You can just add a little bit of lime here, all right, just to make the top a little bit stronger, okay? So anyway, so that, that is the, um, the center of the lily. Now we're gonna move on now to the petals, all right? So the petals, once you have made these and they're dry, we're going to use your half width floral tape and we're going to start off about two and a half centimeters down and you're gonna go around with your floral tape and just like I've shown before on my YouTubes. You see, and then what we do is we're just gonna slide this up to the bottom. So you see, when you slide this up, it's gonna to come to meet the base of the lily like this, you see? And you're gonna come down about sort of, uh, about one and a half inches, about four centimeters, okay? So you tape each of the, obviously each of the lily petals are gonna be taped like this. All right, once you have done that, we're going to then put the coloring onto this. So I'm going to use First of all, on the lily flower, I'm going to use, this is like a daffodil yellow. Now you just need a little tiny bit of that. And on the front of each petal, just about two centimeters up from the bottom there, I'm going to just do like a little yellow, almost like a triangle. So I'm just going to do like a little triangle shape like that. So one way, the other way, and the bottom. It doesn't have to be exactly, but it's almost like a triangle shape. And that's just going to go just sort of where it starts to open out, okay? And that's just on the front of the petal. Then you do that on the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, okay? Once we've done that, we're gonna take our base color, all right? So this is gonna be our base color. And we're gonna use here, gonna take some base color. You need a little bit more of that. And I'm gonna use, this is a flat brush, um, angled brush. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cut into the petals. So just like when you paint in like a wall where you do your trim, you're using your brush on its side like this and I'm actually just cutting into the petal from the yellow, just coming up the pink, because you want this white border on the side. And you're gonna do the same on the other side here. Just remember, don't load too much color onto your brush. So you see how this is gonna give you this shape. You're then gonna do exactly the same on the back. And of course, when you do this, you can, um, you can do the, usually again, 
when my students make lilies like this, we normally would put the, this, do this on all six of them with this brush, okay, like this, okay? So that's going to be your first color. Then I'm going to use here a um, flat brush, all right, so just a little bit bigger. And then we're going to then use this to fill in that area. So you're just going to fill in that space. And you see how I'm using my finger underneath to support this, okay? I'm going to come a little bit, but that central, that central area is going to be dusted a stronger pink. So we're actually going to here, going to just sort of bring that and just sort of leave that very center white, okay? And then the back, do the same. Going to fill this in, but this time you're going to just fill this in in the same way. Just leave it a little bit white in the middle, okay? So you're just going to almost just leave like a white center there, like that, okay? All right, so you're going to do a little white center there. And then, of course, you would do that. And then, and then what I would normally do is you would also do this pink on the buds, okay? So, so here, for the buds, I'm going to add two extra 20 gauge wires, just like I did. Now, because we've already got this is on a 20, this is on an 18 gauge wire, the larger bud. This is the medium bud, but this is on a 20 gauge wire. So we're adding two more 20 gauge wires to this one. If you were doing the large lily bud, um, you would use a um, use an A2 18 gauge wires, okay? So this is gonna be taped down. Okay, and then, um, and this is, remember, the bud that I made longer, so it's obviously dry. And so using that same color, okay, so we're going to use the, actually the smaller, um, the angled brush here that we've just used. So we're going to now just brush this, and I'm going to brush like six stripes, all right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to brush a stripe. There's not really any particular way this has to go. You're just going to just sort of leave, leave a little white stripe, and you're going to do the next one. Okay, so you see the color is going to dissipate as it comes up. So you're just brushing in one direction. And then the fifth one. So this is going to give me my base color. You're coming up about, you know, almost all the way to the top here. And then just going to do a little bit of the pink into there. So you're going to get these sort of striped, striped effect onto here. All right, so that's your base color. Then I'm going to going to change out. Typically I'll change out my napkin so you don't contaminate your colors. So then I'm going to change out to a fuchsia color. All right, so this is fuchsia. And with fuchsia, I'm going to take some of this. So a very, very bright pink. And you see then what I'm going to do here is on the lily, I'm going to actually then dust this down the middle. So I'm going to go from where the yellow is, I'm going to use my brush on its side. So I'm going to just brush that center part, this sort of stronger pink, you see? And I will also do the same on the back. So pretty much back and front is the same. The only difference is the back doesn't have the yellow. You only use the yellow on the front side, okay? All right, and then again, you're gonna now do, so literally on, the, on here, you're gonna go almost like in the middle of where your pink, where your other pink is, just gonna do like a sort of a slightly stronger pink line here. So remember, don't load too much color on your brush. And it's going to just going to give you these stripes. And then the last one here. It's going to be brushed onto the lily. So you see how you're going to get this sort of uh, this effect onto there. Now then you're going to take your um, going to take your green. Okay, so I'm going to use here. This is a lime green color. Okay. And with a lime green color, I'm going to put a little bit of lime green right at the bottom here of the, underneath where the yellow is. So that's going to be lime green at the bottom. I'm going to bring my lime green around the base and I'm going to come down the back of the petal just about a third of the way down. Okay, so you're just going to do like a stripe about a third of the way down with the, with the lime green. And then you're going to get rid of the green off your brush and you're just going to just like literally just rub over the top of those little raised parts. You see that will give you the, obviously the little green markings you have characteristically on that. And then we're going to take your, here, you're going to brush down here with the green. So you're just going to go between the 
white here. So almost where the white is, you're going to have like a green stripe. And then again, you're just going to get rid of most of the green off the brush. And you're going to then just use your green and just going to put just a little bit of green on that tip coming down here. So that's going to give you the, need a little bit more green there. It's going to give you the sort of the, the sort of striped effect you have on this butt, okay? Um, and uh, so that will give you the, um, the coloring onto the butt. And then we're going to then, um, we're going to mark, do the markings onto here. So we're going to use some, this is like a burgundy color. So just going to use like a burgundy color here. And I'm going to use a little bit of vodka. Not too much because we want this quite concentrated. I'm going to use here, uh, this is a 10-0 paintbrush, okay? So I'm just going to add a little bit of vodka to this. Okay, now I'm going to use sort of two techniques. I'm going to use my paintbrush and I'm going to use the tip of the paintbrush to do like little dots like this. Then we're going to actually press the paintbrush like this. So you see how it's going to make like almost like elongated shapes on there. So we're going to take your here. So you're going to just do some little dots. So you just do these sort of randomly placed on the top here in between your little markings. Mostly in, in this sort of area. Now some lilies have very strong markings on. Some are not so strong. So it sort of depends where you... And then you can just press your brush here. And you can just sort of make some line markings onto your petals like this, okay? So you're going to get these sort of lines onto the petals, okay? And that's how you would get the uh, beautiful marking onto the, the petals there. Now when you, are, um, when you are doing the orange lily, all right, so the orange lily is uh, pretty much sort of the similar technique, but actually not quite as many colors. So on the orange lily, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use an orange base all over. So again, this would just be taped. And the center of the orange lily is uh, the stamens and that are done exactly the same way. But where I put the pink on the stamens, I just use the orange, okay? So on this one, we're going to take the orange. And of course, you can put gloves on when you do this, but I'm going to just use the orange all over pretty much over this petal. This is going to sort of really brighten this up. Okay, so it's going to give you this nice color onto there. And then I'm going to, so you do this on all of them, I'm going to then use a ruby color. So ruby is a color I used on my red rose um, in my uh, um, Flower Pro Book 1 and on the video. So I'm going to use the ruby. And this ruby, again, is really going to sort of, because when you take the ruby with the orange, you're going to get this sort of beautiful color on the edge of it. So just going to just work from the outside to the inside. So here we're actually putting this color on the edge. And then we're going to then just where you have the pink, the fuchsia, you're just going to brush a stripe of the ruby down the middle of the petal here. And you're going to do the same on the back there, just all the way down. And because this is a slightly brighter, darker color, you know, I'm going to use here apple green instead of the lime green. So a little bit of, and then again, your apple green goes about a third of the way down the back of the petal. You're going to extinguish your color off your brush. I'm going to put a little bit of green color sort of onto your, remember, just extinguish the coloring off your brush. You're going to get these little green raised parts here. And then again, we're going to then I'm going to put the little markings on here. And you're going to just do the little dots. Now, you know, a lot of times, you know, people just always call this a tiger lily because it has obviously these sort of markings onto here. But you're just going to, just going to do some markings onto there. Um, you can use chocolate brown for this, but typically when you actually look at the, the dots on the orange leaves, they actually are like almost like a burgundy color. So I generally use burgundy for both of those um, pieces. All right, so um, so that's going to be the the basic coloring on the flowers and buds, and then of course when you do 
when we do this bud, this is the orange bud. Now remember, when you make this bud, obviously you'd use flower and modeling paste, which matches the color of the petals. So again, you would just would do your stripes. So you do your basically your stripes in orange, okay? Then I use the little burgundy, the uh, ruby color in between, and a little bit of green, apple green here, a little bit of apple green on the top, all right? Um, and so I'm going to just get cleaned up, ready, and I'm gonna show you then how to do the leaves. Now on the little tiny bud, you know, remember this was made in pale green. So if you're making this bud, because this obviously emulates that like young bud, which is going to be more green. So when we do that, um, I've just used the same sort of pale, but I've used the pale green and then the, the pink on here to do the stripe. But if you start off with this base, it's not going to be such a strong color. And you can see here on the um, orange lily there, um, I basically just dusted the orange from the top coming down and then I bring the green, the um, apple green up from the, from the side there. Um, so you can see that then, and of course you can see here the lily bud with the orange and then the sort of ruby and then the apple green color. Um, so this makes a very nice realistic looking young, young bud. And, uh, but they said these can be used for many, many flowers. Now when we are um, doing the leaves, Again, with the leaves, we're going to just uh, tape the base of the leaf. So just like the petals, we're going to tape down approximately about an inch here. All right, and so that's going to be there. And then you would just take your uh, color. So on the um, leaves here, so on this leaf, I'm going to use moss green. So the leaves are generally a little bit darker on the leaves. So I'm just going to use some moss green all over. So this is just going to be a very, very simple coloring all over the leaf, front and back with the moss green. And then with the, um, the leaf of the orange lily, remember that was made with a slightly darker paste as well. Um, I actually would dust that with the uh, foliage green. So this is a sort of a darker, slightly bluey green color, okay? Once we've got the leaves done, we're going to then um, use a spray lacquer um, or you can use a leaf glaze on here brushed on. So you're just gonna lightly, lightly spray this onto the leaf, okay? Now remember, when you have just a basic coloring like this, you don't have to steam the leaf prior to this. But when you're doing things like rose leaves, you have an accent color, uh, like on the rose leaf segment things and some of the other foliage, you need to obviously make sure that you, um, you uh, steam them lightly before you um, spray them. Because especially when you have, um, if you're using the brush on method, what will happen is that the uh, color will all basically blend together. So now we're going to move on to assembly. So first of all, I'm actually going to assemble my, my lily. Okay, so I'm going to take my, so these are my six petals that I have pre-made. And I'm going to attach these to the lily. And the first petals are pretty much going to just go straight, straight up. Now, because we hollowed the base of the petal, you see this actually fits, it sort of fits snugly around your ovary. So where your ovary is at the bottom, that is where your petals will be attached and you're going to attach the first three petals. Just put one on, second one, and these will actually fit together. So you see how they fit really nice and snugly? Um, just make sure they're all sort of level, and they're gonna go round. And uh, then once you get the paste onto here, put the third one on, because these want to form like a little triangle, okay? They're gonna form a little triangle here. You see how they're gonna form a sort of a tight, a tight triangle? A little bit of paste just from the bottom of the ovary there we go. All right, so see how your petals are gonna sit like this, okay? And then when you put the remaining three petals on, now if you need to bend them, you know, do that down there. And then when you put the three remaining petals on, what I'm gonna do here is gonna take my pair of pliers, I'm just gonna bend them just slightly with my, here with my uh, pliers, just like right at the bottom here. One, two, three, and so then they're going to have the, the base of the petals will just sort of sit here. So you're just gonna attach these. So you see how that's gonna be attached there. We're gonna come around. So this will be the third, the, going in between the three, just making sure that your petals are here. And then the second one is gonna sit here. Okay. And then the third and final one will sit here. All right, so just obviously make sure they sit in a triangle so the third and final one will sit, will just sit here, okay? So it's gonna sit here like so. And then we're gonna come around, go around a couple of times with your floral tape, and then you're gonna just tape down the wire here. Okay, and then once you've taped down the wire, you're going to just um, 
continue down just, just a little ways past where your wires are. Then you can take a little bit of um, like the apple green, lime green color and just going to put around that the sort of the back of the flower here. So just again with when you touch with your fingers sometimes you'll get a little bit of color come off so you can just touch that up with sort of like an apple green color. Okay. Um, once you get to this point, all right, you need to just decide on what sort of stage you want the lily to, you know, how open you want the lily to be. All right, so you're going to just put, do your, your petals here. And then we're going to then just gently steam the lily and uh, steam the bud. So I'm going to just hold the flower in the steam just very gently, just for a few seconds. And this is going to just sort of set the color. Just make sure that the petals are in the right position. Okay. And you can just stand that into a cake dummy. And then you're also going to steam your buds, all right? So you're just going to lightly steam your buds. So we have the three buds. Remember, this one started off with very pale green paste. And then just going to, uh, as I said, just steam those lightly. And then you just want to leave those to dry for a couple of minutes so that then uh, they're not sticky. And then we're going to come on to the assembly. So for the assembly, I'm going to um, start off with the small bud. You know, this is going to be the little bud that's got the green onto it and you know typically on a lily this would be sort of at the end and then we're going to then going to put in my next bud so that will just sort of sit here like so and I'm going to just take these together so I'm going to take these two together you can see this is pretty much how I did the orange lily all right so you see how I just did the bud and then the um... now if you accidentally sort of like for example when it's wet I've just touched that accidentally with my finger just let it dry don't try and redust it now because what would happen is that you would mess up your flower and all your bud and also you would mess up your um, your paintbrush then I'm going to put in my two leaves here but we, so we can leave this for about 30 minutes and then I can just go back in there and just dust it um, just a little bit just to, to refill that up and then I'm going to put in my leaves so really what I'm doing here is I'm going to emulate what I've done on this lily. So you can see this is the orange lily. The leaves are smaller. Obviously I've used a small and medium bud on this one. And then we're going to just tape in the leaves. So this is obviously the larger leaf here. Okay, so it's going to give me my larger leaf here. And on this one I'm going to actually now add the large bud. So I'm going to just take the large bud here. I'm just going to bend this up at a slight angle here so you see how you have your large bud is going to just come up from the side there because you know when lilies grow of course the buds come come out from and of course I'm just really showing you this so I'm showing you one of each size bud so you have an idea about the scale of the buds and how you know nice these look in the spray so we're just going to have your lily bud here and then I'm going to put in my so here I've actually got five leaves. So on both lilies, you can see here the back I've got two leaves and then I have the lily and then I'm going to put three leaves. So other than adding the extra bud, both sprays are pretty much the same. And then we're going to take the lily. So then your lily can be taken and you're just going to just sort of bend this so this will sort of come, come up. So this is going to sit up like this, okay? And you're just going to just take this into place. Now just be a little bit careful when you start like flinging this around because obviously you have to be careful of your hand because you see how my hand is like going underneath the pedal. So just be careful your hand. Just watch what's happening each, all the time. And then your lily will sort of sit like this. Okay. And then once you get here, so this is a very nice presentation if you were going to put this like laid on a cake or if you're going to stand this on the side of a cake because the lily is presented sort of forward. And then we're going to just take the three remaining leaves and I'm going to put these behind. So I'm going to have one lily leaf here and I'm going to make two. But so this would look, you know, fabulous on a larger cake. And of course, as I explained, if you were doing a smaller celebration cake, like a birthday anniversary cake, and you're only doing a sort of a smaller cake, of course you can make the lily this size in this style. So you could make an oriental style lily. But we're very super excited about this one in particular because obviously lilies come in so many colors. So on our uh, Flower Pro Facebook page, you know, we're hoping you're all going to share all of your lilies you make in all different colors and, uh, you know, how you're going to use them. So this is a very versatile flower. Also, like the calla lily, 
the peonies, you know, come in many colors as well. So all of these flowers that are shown in this new line in the Flower Pro range, um, the new molds are there, um, obviously all very versatile, the tulips as well. So um, I'm just gonna just take down here. And then when you're doing, um, when we're doing a sort of a larger flower like this, a lot of times I would just finish this off with some full width floral tape. So I'm just gonna take some full width tape here. Now this particular one, a little later I'm gonna show you how to put this on a cake, all right? So I'm actually gonna be putting this into a uh, straw or a pick onto the cake. So of course normally this would be cut to the depth of your cake. So if you're doing like in the United States, we typically work four inch high cakes, which is becoming more popular in Europe and England. Of course you have the double barreled style cakes as well. So normally this stem would be a little bit, this part here, which is gonna go into the cake, would be a little bit shorter than your actual depth of your cake, all right? And then you're gonna take your wire cutters here and then with your wire cutters, you can just cut off the excess wires here. And then usually when you're doing the end of a spray like this, um, which I've shown on some of my other classes, you're gonna come around and so you see, and then you're gonna fold that over. So what this means that if the customer, the client takes this out of the cake, they're not going to dig the wires into their fingers. So you see it is all totally um, then self-concealed in that floral tape. So you just go around and fold it over um, and that's gonna give you that nice, um, nice piece here. So these are our, uh, I said, oriental style family of lilies, all right, with T-bar stamens. Here you see the, um, obviously this is the enchantment tiger lily style. And you can see here these have got the straight stamens, which are the small ones. But again, they're very much intermixed, able to be able to use on different ones. So I hope you will enjoy making these beautiful lilies and share on our Facebook um, platform, on the Flower Pro Facebook platform, your creations. And uh, this has been Nicholas Lodge. Till next time, I'll see you soon.